non meditator always suffers meditation is a natural state of the mind what is natural state of the mind so according to the teachings of the eastern wisdom we understand that the mind i'm just citing an example by mind 90% by default is peaceful happy now that does not make a sense because i always suffer i have anger and anxiety and duality and a conflict and sometime i get upset with my relationship in my profession once i return home i get tired how do you see that that is why all of our masters says that you need to understand the principle first you know the principle and then ask questions related to that principle so that the mind and the intellect should become clear there must be clarity and once you have clarity that will inspire you to do the practice so just laying off the journey of meditation because i do not understand because i consider it is not for me that doesn't work so what happens that i say i am that is full of wrong notions what is i am i am the body i am the teacher i am the husband i am the wife were you all of them each any one of them at the time of the birth no <coughs> so these are the labels we have created but take one example i am suffering and here is a way an object or a person or a thing in the world outside that will help me end suffering so what happened we have created a duality i am and the world outside our master says that very duality is coming from ignorance so once there is a duality that is coming from the ignorance the mind says if i get this person if i marry this person i will be happy oh yes you marry by chance and you get happy but after a few months or few years you are unhappy it is the same mind which says i'm happy with this person now you are unhappy with the same person so meditation teaches us how to work on the mind how to take over the mind that makes us crazy you see so the mind says i'm happy with you oh, after a few hours few days few months i'm unhappy with you can we ask our mind o oh mind are you really happy with the one person 100% and the real answer is no why the mind there is no happiness in relationship to the world outside the happiness is deeper within so what is this that uh, mind was seeking and it became happy it is a pleasure the pleasure is short lived 
the pleasure comes when we the mind comes in contact with that person which he likes which it likes and the pleasure is always short lived ask yourself can i accumulate pleasure no we cannot my master used to say my master used to say that the pleasure moves to the pain and the pain moves to the pleasure so there is a pain hides behind the pleasure and there is a pleasure hides behind the pain mind knows it even but because of the habit and the duality and the ignorance it wants us to continue to live under the dictate of the mind to drop that authoritarian attitude of the mind meditation is required simple don't go into that you know i will realize god and i will see uh, i will see the beautiful ocean and the heaven better to see the ocean with your eyes open go to some beach we don't meditation doesn't create any fancies in imagination meditation means that mind must touch the reality of who am i that takes us to the meditative state that is why the patanjali says that the mind that is not meditating lives in pleasure that hides the pain and days after days we are doing the same thing but expecting a different result which will not happen vrati sarup pyam itaratra patanjali in the fourth sutra clarifies in the absence of the state of meditation the mind continues to live and work with the worldly objects through likes and dislikes attachment and detachment pain and pleasure the result is profit and loss victory and defeat so in meditation we allow the mind to rise above these preferences gradually we take over the mind and the mind reflects our true nature 